Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. So I, I'm, uh, I am going to be speaking with Michelle, the one and only Michelle Kwan, momentarily. Uh, can you guys hear me? You, you, you can use you early adopters here can be my uh, my tech beta testers. Can you hear me? OK, now every single time I do this, I have a problem and uh, tech issues, but I think it's going to work beautifully this time because Michelle is so tech savvy. Um, oh, my God, that was so smooth. That was so fast. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers! I have my unbranded mug. Um, how incredibly insensitive of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll brand. I've got my hot cocoa. All right, so... <clears throat> um, oh, I am drinking. Um, I am drinking black coffee. Um, this is my second cup, <laughs> and I'm going. I, I'm going in for um, hip research, uh, replacement surgery um, soon, and I'm going in for my pre-op appointment today, and I have to be fasting. And the oh, only no. thing I'm the only thing I'm allowed to have is black coffee. So I'm, I'm I mean I'm, this this IG live could be all about hip surgery because I had hip surgery back in two thousand and six. Yes, there. yes, but you earned it with you know triple sow cows and whatnot. And I I have not. I I'm just like late middle aged, and it's uh <laughs> it's just a feature of my demise, unfortunately. But you love running. I do love running. Yeah, like, I do. How many miles are we talking about? Well, I used to go for, you know, 30 and 40 mile runs um, in my in my youth. But uh, now I hobble along. Uh, <laughs> I, I've been going through the process of contemplating. I mean, if you want to go into hip surgery, I will. <laughs> I've been in the process of contemplating, like, do I really need my second hip done? Because my, my, my left hip feels much better after having done a right hip. And the other day I was like, you know, I mean, I can even go for jogs now. I mean, how important is it? And, uh, and I, uh, I was out for a jog and this uh, teenager who was probably 75 pounds overweight just went flying past me on his jog. And I was like, oh, yeah, I need to, like, I need, I think I'm going slower than a toddler walking backwards right now. <laughs> I think I need to get this done. So that's uh, that's you my have to get it future. Done. Yeah, I I tried to wait and wait, and it just wasn't. It it doesn't heal itself. That's the problem. Like the time. It, yeah, and I know how you feel because I watched the U.S. national championships uh, a few days ago, and they were doing tricks that I never even considered doing <laughs> actually when I competed. So, really? Yeah. Just to see the triple, triple combinations and the quadruples. And the, I'm just like, Ooh, I'm glad I, I never thought I would like see the day that I, well, when I was competing that I'd retire, but I'm uh -huh. glad I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> but uh -huh. I've entered in an arena that's more competitive than figure skating. Yeah. It's actually kind of true. And, and, and the odds, the odds are longer. Yes. It's yes. kind of remarkable, huh? You've been, you've been working on um, the, the Biden campaign since April of 2019, you said? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I joined very, very, very early. Um, and I wasn't expecting to, actually, because I had worked in the previous campaign. I worked for Hillary Clinton, as you know. Yeah. Um, and I thought, wow, a year and a half on a campaign, presidential campaign, it's really tiresome. Um, you know, people joke about presidents with their graying hair when they're president, but it's not only the four years or the eight years, it's actually the year and a half leading, going into it. Right. <laughs> and if you're, you know. Uh, and it's not just the, and it's not just the candidates, it's the staff working on the campaigns <laughs> that, go, that go gray. Although you seem to be holding up pretty well. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not great yet. Not yeah. yet. But um, I definitely. <laughs> as much as you. And, um, you know, we, it said 24 seven, you know, you wake up and you're like, okay, how much more work do I have to do? And like, by the end of the day, I'm e emailing folks at like, two o'clock in the morning, since I'm on the West Coast, two o'clock in the morning on the East Coast. And people are still responding. I mean, that's how 
people just yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. how yeah. intense <laughs> um do you do you know and and if i you may not be able to talk about this or you may not know but do you know what's next to for you after the inauguration i don't know exact steps yet um I do have to say when the first wave of the nominees and appointees came about, it reminded me a little bit about a little bit of like Avengers movie where uh -huh. it was like, here, Jake Sullivan, national security advisor. And then, and then you have Tony Blinken who's coming in as secretary of state. Then you have Susan Rice and Mayor Pete. And like, it just felt like, okay, a second, just like finally breathe. I could finally. Like, yeah. <sighs> but I, I have to say, like, I would love to continue to work uh, for for President-elect Joe Biden um, in 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 the administration. I don't know yet um, what the role might be, though. Uh -huh. But it's nice to see all my friends and my colleagues who are all in the White House. They're they're at State Department. They're all over. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good you know, looking forward to the future for the next four years. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you and I are feeling like really optimistic and really hopeful because, you know, we've been, you know, on, on Team Biden for a long time. And, and yeah. you have put so much blood, sweat and tears into this. And it's got to feel like such an incredibly hard fought and well earned victory. Um, and like, and the hope, but I know what you mean. I, I even... Uh, we, my, Random Acts, which is a nonprofit that I uh, started a long time ago, um, participated in the day of service yesterday. And even the fact that the inauguration week incorporated a day of service in a real and meaningful way and, and showcased that um, instills me with this incredible feeling of hope. Like, yes, this is what leadership looks like. And you talk about the dream team that's coming in and yeah. feeling like all of a sudden we actually have people in, in seats of power who really know what they're doing and really yeah. know how to navigate the system and how to direct us towards success when we're confronting all these incredible problems. It's, for me, it's not just a relief. It, it instills me with hope and excitement and the feeling of like, you know, possibility. Yeah, I mean, yesterday, I was just going to ask you about the Martin Luther King, you know, day of service, America, you know, United America, because all over the country, um, the presidential inaugural committee collaborated with service organizations uh, like Random X and making sure that people are trying to make a difference. You know, we're suffering through a horrific pandemic, 400,000 lives actually today. Um, at 5.30 Eastern, uh, I hope that you'll check it out. Um, it's gonna be a ceremony, you know, featured at the uh, lighting of the Lincoln Memorial at the reflecting pool and all across the country, just um, paying tribute to those lives that have been lost. Um, but it's so important. I mean, yesterday was just one snapshot of what we all can do as a country together um, to mm -hmm. heal our nation, to unite our country, um, and to get over this pandemic. And we were dealing with so many crises, economic crises, uh, you know, injustice, and just, we need so much at this moment. And Joe Biden has always talked about, you know, building back better, which we must, but the soul of our nation, you know, we need to restore the soul of the nation. And uh, there is so much hope, um, you know, when the inauguration and the swearing in of tomorrow, I'm so excited. And then it's like, it's to work, you know, let's get to work. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think speaking to that, um, I, I was talking to some other folks in the campaign a couple of weeks ago who were saying, well, now's, now's the time to roll up our sleeves and really get to work. Like yeah. win, winning the election, <laughs> winning the election, sadly, is just, is just like qualifying for the yeah. Olympics. And now you got to exactly. go compete, you know? Um, now you need to get done. <laughs> Um, but I think that, you know, speaking to the day of service, I think that that is resonant with people. We, we set this like what we thought ambitious goal of get, you know, collecting 10,000, the, the equivalent of 10,000 meals for people in need because there's so much food, uh, scarcity right now and insecurity right now. And, uh, and within, uh, 24 hours, we were 10 X that goal, which was t totally amazing. So we got a hundred thousand. Um, 
But I think that that just speaks to the fact that people are hungry to be participating in what feel like real solutions instead of being kind of at sea. I think that a lot of the, what the pre previous administration was doing was sort of letting people fend for themselves. I mean, you could see it on a, on a slightly more macro level with like all of the states are on their own, figure out how yeah. to do, each, each state figure out how to do uh, this, how to deal with the pandemic on their own. We're gonna hobble the CDC, this won't be centralized. And likewise, you know, each family fend for themselves. Um, but I think that one of the things that, you know, our country, I, I, I think, sees itself as, when you talk about the soul of the country, it sees itself as a country that rises to the occasion collectively. And, yes. and people seem to be, you know, electrified by that possibility right now. <clears throat> yeah. I certainly feel, feel it. Um, and I, I saw, know. you know, that you're, you bring in your, your kids as well as your wife. It's a, it's a family effort for you, isn't it? Right yes, now. I I try I try to exploit them as much as possible. <laughs> Make them work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what are your plans yeah. for the inauguration tomorrow? Well, I am going to um, watch as much as I can. I actually don't even I haven't even looked into how to do it online, but I'm I'm going to be watching what I can and um, and uh, texting with friends and, and I, I, hopefully texting you as as in that in the in that mix. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's, it. it's, <laughs> we did it. Uh, um, I, I, um, I think it's like, I, I'm, a, you know, I, I, there's a part of me that like wishes that we could have like that, you know, tr traditional in-person uh, inauguration. But at the same time, this being the first time that there's an un inauguration that um, is really not an in-person event. Like they're, the, the, I mean, you guys are discouraging people from showing up in DC at all because yeah. we're in the middle of a pandemic and we don't want people congregating or traveling. But I think that that means that this entire inauguration is going to be tailored to the entire population of the country being able to experience it in a virtual yeah. way, which yeah. is the silver lining. I'm, and we're <laughs> all looking for silver linings right I now. I love that silver lining. <laughs> No, it's um, true. I mean, this, it's, you, you have to look at it this way. Like if we're sitting at the swearing in, like it's such a bummer that, you know, we aren't in Washington, DC uh, and there won't be, you know, it's not ticketed. Um, people aren't being invited uh, yeah. to, to be in attendance, but it is going to be made. I help. won't be able to wear my gown. <laughs> you but, can't wear your gown. All right, but, um, yeah, but you know, but I think I, I, different I, either, you know, right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Well, a close up. It's um, like watching watching sports, right? Sometimes when you're in the nosebleeds, you can't even watch what's happening. Right. But now we're having like front row. Everyone is watching it front row. Yeah, <laughs> we're all getting the VIP experience. Um, yeah, yeah I, I actually thought um, I thought that the uh, uh, oh my god, what was that? What is the event when the the uh, when President Elect Biden is uh, is deemed President-elect Biden, the, the the convention. I was like, <laughs> well, what is the word I'm looking for right now? <laughs> convention, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, I thought the convention was actually really um, great to watch because it was yeah. designed, it wasn't designed as an in-person event. It was designed for everyone to see. So I thought that was cool. Um, yeah, well, we have um, a can I add? crazy, amazing lineup. You know, we have Lady yeah. Gaga and it, it, Justin Timberlake and J Lo and Tom Hanks and Kerry Washington and you know it's going to be star studded and the performances are going to be fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it should be amazing. Um, can I, I can I ask you one? I know that you have to go, but I, I wanted to ask you um, one more question um, because I think it you you have the uh, uh, particularly uh, illuminating perspective on things, um, having worked on the campaign for so long, and I know that. Like in early on, I mean, when we first talked, I remember you called me, it was late at night. I was driving home from work from Supernatural and, uh, and, and it was like, M Michelle, Qu Michelle Quant's on the phone. Oh my God. I was going to um, say, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm but, just going to call Misha. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember at the time, like it was a really scrappy campaign. There wasn't a lot of money. It was just a few of you working hard late at night. And, um, and, but that means that you were in the trenches for a long time with, um, with Joe Biden and got to know him well. And I know that there was so much 
talk of like character being on the ballot in this election. And, um, and I guess I was wondering if you could speak to your personal experience with getting to know him and how, how you feel um, his character is suited to this new uh, role at this trying time. Yeah, um, that's a great question. I, I've seen the Bidens up close and personal. Um, like you said, from the beginning of the campaign, it was, it was very scrappy. I mean, you have to be frugal and watch where we're spending and, you know, make sure that we take, take trains instead of planes, buses instead of trains. Like we were, and, and, you know, being the director of surrogates, um, and, how many other candidates were running. I mean, everybody, it, we would had to be very scrappy. Um, I have to say that the Bidens are sincerely the nicest family. Um, when you see his remarks, when you see his empathy, understanding, um, compassion, especially during this time, you know, when so many lives have been lost through the pandemic, we need a leader that you know, talks about the soul of the nation, yes, but can understand and, and, and connect with people and, and a president that listens and has experience and lead with heart. Um, and I think that that is the president that we have. Um, that is the person that is being sworn in. And not only that, though, we have Kamala Harris by his side, who's a formidable, I mean, senator, uh, attorney general, uh, a woman of color. I mean, being a woman, woman of color and seeing, you know, Kamala, somebody that's African American, somebody that's a female, but also <laughs> Asian American. You know, I I know it means so much to the community. Uh, seeing somebody that not only looks like them, talks like them, but she can GSD get stuff done. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Making it PG. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and, and when you look at uh, President elect, he doesn't need a tour of the White House or, or, you know, from President Trump. He knows where things are. He knows on day one what he needs to do. So uh -huh. he knows you know, which drawer the silver, <laughs> the silverware is in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he doesn't need to ask where the toilet is. He's got it. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's reassuring. Um, it is very reassuring for all of us. But I do remember I, I called you, I think it was March 7th. I was actually headed to Washington. Uh, and, I, and I gave you a call because you're, you're in Washington, right? Yep, yep. And, and I think we were laughing about toilet paper at that time. And then yeah, the laughing became very serious. I, yeah, very serious they, there had already been a run on, on, on the grocery stores and, and Target for toilet paper. And I, I believe I was out. I believe that we had dipped into the to the uh, paper towels at that point. And <laughs> <laughs> but I was headed up there and I was like, I could bring you a couple of rolls. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and I was serious about that. I mean, yeah, that that was no joke. And that was my last time flying, actually. And then we wow. hit the pandemic, the campaign shut down. Our headquarters shut down. Every, of course, everyone knows, you know, stores, everything, everything shut down. Um, and then we had to work all virtually. And that's where you stepped in, Misha, because you were so helpful throughout the campaign, like doing IG Lives. You were, you were the first IG um, Live for oh, Team Joe quite an, quite an honor. <laughs> um, I, 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 I am excited. I was excited to have been the canary in the coal mine. Yeah. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for including me um, along the way. And thank you for everything that you've done. Um, you know, I honestly think that it, it was close, you know, yeah. it was it was close. And we likely wouldn't be here were it not for all of the work that you did. And thank you. Thank you. Uh, really, like, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Um, and it's so lovely to see you. And I can't wait to text you tomorrow. Um, I know. Cheers. Some, cheers some fist pumps. Tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> get the, Caffeine get cheers. The yes. And good luck with your surgery, too. Keep me Thank posted. Thank you. Yeah, I have a lot do. of rehab tips. Okay. Uh, I, I will need them. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Richa. Bye. Bye. Good to see you. You too.
now how do I stop it? <laughs> yeah, we'll continue. <laughs>